Hi guys, it's Richard from Monolane Furniture. I've been miserable, Sydney. It's been miserable for days. It's doing my netting. Today, transform this. Looks pretty boring. I hope it's not boring by the end. Let's have a look. Another Facebook Marketplace one. I think I paid five or ten dollars for this one. It's plain. It's really simple, but I really love it. It's got heaps of potential. It's vintage. I, I assumed it would all be veneer. I think only the top is. The drawers are certainly solid. Yeah, I think the body is probably veneer. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Here's your telltale sign. But that's okay. It's actually still good enough to be sanded back if I wanted to. I probably won't. I might add feet. I might decoupage the drawers. I don't know. Time will tell. First up, I just want to see if this veneer is going to be usable in any way, shape or form. I don't know. I'll try the top first. The top is a piece on its own and then the sides. It looks like a thick veneer, but we'll have a look. So I'm going to just go with a high grit sandpaper. So a 240. I want to go really gentle because I don't know how thin it is. Let's just see how we go. There you go, see, totally different. It is a veneer, it's a very thin veneer, and straight through it. I'm actually gonna carry on and see what is underneath that, because the veneer might actually be covering up what is there. Oh, let's just see what we got, eh? I'll carry on and see what's underneath it. You just never know what you've got. So you've got this varnish here, then a veneer going that way, and then this, which is a very thin plank, which is the top, same as the top of that. I'm just gonna keep sanding. I'm gonna do the frame and see if it's something that I can work with. This is gonna take a little time, just because I'm really being really careful, but I just wanna show you what I'm doing. So generally when you're sanding, you go with the grain. Well, this is a little bit confusing because I've got two grains, one there, one there. So I'm actually tilting it a little bit like this. So I'm putting pressure on this point so that I'm sanding this, but I'm not over sanding this area. So it's gonna take a little time. I think it'll be nice when it's done, but I'm gonna get on with this and I'll come back to you when hopefully it's all off, and then we can decide from there what we're gonna do. As I'm moving down this side, this veneer that's on the top, so I, what I think I've actually got is a piece of ply, and then a veneer over top of it. But at the top, the veneer was really thin, so it sanded through. Here you can see it's a lot thicker. So this is where it had already started to come away. I'm just gonna see if I can uh, easier than sanding. When you're doing that, keep it as flat as possible. Don't dig down. If I had to dig down on this, I would just change my mind and just carry on sanding it through. Yeah, you see what's underneath now? So I'm pretty sure that's just ply, but I'll take this off, then I'll sand it and see What's underneath? That was so therapeutic, I'm not gonna lie. Now I'm gonna sand it, see if it's as good as I think it is underneath. 
and I'll do that all the way around. That's the sanding den. It actually came up really well and I ended up doing, so I've done the sides, the top and the edges and the base. The drawers, I'm gonna decoupage. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this little pickaboo, but the drawers are gonna be decoupaged. So in order for me to get the best outcome from the decoupage and not lose any color, uh, not lose any vibrancy of the color, I'm gonna paint those drawers white. I can cope with that. I've just given these drawers a quick check over before I start painting them. And I do this because it's not on runners and it's, it's quite tight. Now all of these, all the top ones, have got plenty of space between them. Not an issue. This bottom one doesn't. And when I'm opening it, it's already touching. So what I'm gonna do before I paint it, so that I don't have paint scraping off, is I wanna sand underneath. So this here, here, just to take a bit of the height off and that'll allow it to drop down. Make sense? I should also mention that after doing all of that sanding, I'm even not sure if I'm gonna keep it raw. There's a very good chance I'm not because, like I showed you before, what we've got here, um, you can actually see the strip of plywood now that it's raw. You can see the strip of plywood, so that's not a great look. It needed to be done anyway because the, the veneer was a mess, so it needs to come off, so you know. I have to keep that in mind in my head that I didn't waste all that time, and it was a learning experience. I'm gonna paint the entire piece in Dixie Belle Dried Sage. This is their chalk mineral. I'll paint the drawers as well. It's still nice and light, so the co I won't lose any vibrancy of the colors. So this color will peek through at the peekaboo. And then the front, I'm going to decoupage with this posh chalk design. What do you think? So it can be that side, that's half of it. Oh, that side, oh, I love that side. Okay, I'm going with that side. So it does pain me a little bit to paint over this because I do like it, but it's not gonna be a nice finish. It's only not to sell. So let's get the dried sage going. And I am going to use my sleek 38 mil brush. Now there's gonna be some texture left because I'm painting straight over ply. The only way to, to resolve that would be to fill it. Or you can't sand it right back because it's so thin. And I don't mind the texture. Before I paint these, I need to give them a quick scuff sand. I'm gonna use 120 grit. I get this in rolls from Sleek Brushes Australia. Just tear off a piece and away we go. Clean all those drawers with white lightning, then rinse them off, and then we're good to get some paint on. I'm gonna do it as one piece and then slice it up afterwards. I used these decoupage papers, posh chalk, for the first time last week. So easy to work with. And for that reason, I'm actually gonna use the wet method to apply this rather than ironing it on because it works so well. Now that may be the kiss of death for me and I may regret saying that, but whatever. I guess we'll have a laugh. It's been a laugh already, hasn't it? I've just spent two days, that's an exaggeration, a day, sanding and removing veneer and then I painted it. I'm gonna mark it right there. I've got a bit of playroom. Cut that off. Let's get stuck in. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous. I'm gonna have to get the blade out to, to cut around these areas. So I'm gonna use Dixie Belle Satin Clear Coat and I'm gonna apply with my chopped off sleek 50 mil brush. Learn with me guys, learn with me, not from me. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put it on one drawer at a time and just make sure I keep it straight. Right, make sure I got this up the right way. It wouldn't be the first time for me to put decoupage upside down. I'm gonna go over both sides a bit so I've got a little bit of leeway in case it goes off kilt a little bit. Basically in case I mess it up. Oh look, see this stuff is just so easy to work with. I'm not even joking, look. edges in sand and then I need to carefully cut out the peekaboo section and then I'll go around with an artist brush around the edges. The drawers are finished. I've top coated those with the satin clear coat, just, just two more coats on top of that after I sanded the edges off. I've just done a quick smooth sand on this and then I'm going to put another coat and then I will put two coats of satin clear on top of this as well. Excuse all the mess. We've been having so many storms, so I'm just keeping everything covered up. So next time you see this girl, she's gonna be in her Sunday best. Here he is, all finished. And yes, I called this one a he, because I'm actually gonna name this one Bill in honor of my lovely father-in-law who has been laid to rest today. Sweet dreams, Bill.